Hi, good morning, it's Dr. Joe, and today we're gonna to talk to you about the age-old question, to rinse or not to rinse your lettuce. This is Two Minutes to Better Health. Now, yesterday we talked about my favorite you know, lunch, and lettuce and salads are a phenomenal thing, they're super healthy, but unfortunately, only 56% of Americans wash their lettuce before they eat it. Now, I'm gonna go through some statistics here, and it's gonna make you a little bit more aware of why it's very important, even those pre-wash, triple wash lettuces that you buy, it's very important to make sure that you rinse those. All right, so reasons to wash. Over 20% of all foodborne illness comes from leafy greens. Now that includes E. coli and listeria. Now where do those come from? You gotta imagine, these things are out in the fields. There's bacteria and there's all sorts of debris and there's animals often you know, co-mingling uh, in these areas. Maybe there could be a, a cattle farm nearby and the water that you know, comes from that farm can kind of be crossed over into some of these leaf lettuces. So if these things are being washed a little bit, you may not be getting all this stuff off. So that's very important. 20% of all foodborne illnesses, huge thing. Lots of large recalls to the tunes of billions of dollars. Pre-washing is primarily to remove dirt, pebbles, and debris, not bacteria. So the purpose of this is not to clean this and sterilize it so that it's bacteria-free. Now, that's part of the, the process, but unfortunately, it's not the largest part. It's really to get rid of the bugs and, and the pebbles and the stones and the dirt, not as much the bacteria. Now, triple washing uses things like chlorine and other harsh chemicals that they're diluted, yes, but unfortunately, that dries on the leaf lettuce. So then if you're just taking it from the bag and throwing it right into your uh, salad mix and mix it in with your other vegetables, you're gonna have all these, you know, these chemicals actually being consumed. So even if it's organic produce, they can wash it with these chemical laden uh, uh, compounds because they say it's a small enough amount, it's not gonna affect you. If you do this every single day, it could be very detrimental. And then lastly, they're washed in very large vats of water and then dried. Now, I don't know about you, but anytime that you use vats of water, maybe you're gonna wash your car. You, you, uh, you dip that sponge in and then you wash. You dip that sponge in and then you wash. It gets dirty over a period of time. And even if you have like three buckets and you go from the, the dirtiest to the cleanest, by the time you get to the third, you know, you know, washing, rinsing, unfortunately, the more times you dip into that, the more it's going to be dirty. So this thing is in very large quantities it's being done. So if lettuces and green leafy, you know, things like kale and spinach, it's not just lettuce, folks. This is kale and spinach, which are phenomenal for health. But if they're being put into these large vats, dried, put in boxes and containers and sent off to you thousands of miles and then you get it and just take it right out of it and throw it in your, your, your bowl, it's not the best thing to do. So I encourage you strongly to minimally wash it for a few moments underwater, submerse it, get one of the salad spinners to get it all dried off so it's not all wet and soggy, but preferably even a little bit of a salt solution or a little bit of vinegar in that water before uh, you, uh, you really rinse it well is very helpful because if there are small amounts of bacteria in that, that is antiseptic and it's not going to harm you. I mean, you could put salt on a salad, you could put vinegar on a salad, it's not gonna be detrimental. So please do this. Uh, don't be one of the 56% of Americans that doesn't wash their lettuces. And um, if you go to a friend's house, also ask them, did you wash this first? Okay, just to be uh, you know, courteous, obviously, please do that for friends and family and for those big outings. So stay safe. Hopefully, you're going to start washing your lettuce more. And stay tuned for a future episode of Two Minutes to Better Health.